Welcome to this video. So we have another 15 minute game. And let's play this stuff uh, again, what we just played. He just said hello to me, so very nice. Um, most people don't say anything here at the moment. So what do I do? I think I, I first play e3 to free my bishop, and then maybe knight f3. I think the normal way to play nowadays is knight f6, and then after knight f3, you play bishop d6. It looks a little bit strange, but um, a lot of a lot of people do it, and they uh, wait until you move the the knight to a3, um, and they put the bishop later on to to e7. Mm -hmm. Okay, should I play something like? d4 here immediately provoking an e4 and then i can try to attack e4 with my knights and my queen on c2 also hmm I take back with the pawn. Threatening d5, so I think he needs to play d5 himself. Yes, otherwise I, I could push d5 and then my bishop would be very strong. So here I think I can try something like c4 also. You know, I, I want to push d5 later on to get rid of this pawn. For the time being, I don't like him to check me here somehow, but uh, Okay, let's play bishop d3 to castle and Here we go A3 first. I don't want him to play knight b4 uh, Knight b4 is annoying Knight, bishop g4 is also annoying. He has a lot of annoying moves. Um, but I can play h3, rook e1, maybe knight to g3 later on. What is more annoying? Okay, this bishop doesn't have that many squares. So, okay, let's make it more difficult for him to develop this piece. So, some prophylactic move. A knight before, I mean, he's not threatening that much. I can always play and retreat the bishop, then play a3, and then kick him away again. Um, should I play a3 here? Does he want to play b5? What's the idea of e a6? Hmm. I can play, okay, I play a3. And then I play c4. And then I think about this knight moving either to c3 or d2. Okay, I can I can play this anyway. If he takes on c4, I have two strong pawns, just you know, getting all those squares here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does he want to take here? Maybe. Don't know if it's good. Hmm. I think this is not enough. So I will just continue to, to develop. I have the option to retreat my, my bishop also here to f1 if I want to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I prefer to protect the knight here with my other knight, so the, my, my queen is free. Maybe he could have played just bishop f5 here, so... 
Okay, let's avoid that and where do I put my other rook? D1? Well, I can maybe also play knight e5, but I think first rook d1. Just um, I think this looks comfortable if I have the rook on the same file as a as a queen of my opponent. I have just a little bit more of space. This bishop is uh, a bit passive, but on the other hand, there are no real weaknesses in Black's camp, so. Maybe I can try to attack c7 here later on. Okay, so now he frees the square here. Maybe he can play c6. Um, but e5 is now a nice square for my knight. So let's attack the queen immediately. Does he want to play c5? Now the queen has to retreat to d8. And I can play c6 myself, so this looks good. Let's do that. So queen d8 and then c6 is my plan. To say, okay, I have some weaknesses here on, on c7. On the other hand, I can just leave it like it is and say I want to attack him here somehow. F4, F5, you know. Maybe I, I mean C6 is I think good. He he plays takes takes takes. I have pressure on C7, but F4 and F5. He's so low on good moves for his pieces. So let's do that. Hmm. Is f5 already good? Can play knight to g5 maybe also. Attacking h7, attacking e6. The bishop on b2 is not good, so... Hmm, what can I do with this guy? Okay, so we have now maybe even the chance later on to sacrifice here something i can play f5 already he retreats i take here knight e5 hmm. bishop on c1 can i do something at g4 g5 g4 g5 he has knight h5 maybe also let's do that Maybe I can regroup also. Let's put the, the queen somewhere to e2. Bishop c2, queen d3. So eyeing on h7 for a mate. Hmm. It's not that easy for him to free him. I mean, something like. Uh, Moving the knight away, very difficult. G5, I still threaten. Okay, he can play knight h5 maybe. I don't want him to play knight h5. So, how can I avoid that? Hmm. Or I play f5 myself and then g5. And... Um, Or I play the rook to g1 
open up the G file. Hmm. I have a lot of possibilities. Maybe um, I need to take care that he, needs, he cannot play knight e4 that easily, but I think he can. Even sacrificing pawn might be an option. Maybe I can um, sacrifice pawn back with d5, and then this bush bishop might become strong. I have the feeling I shouldn't be, you know, too aggressive here. Just, you know, my, my king is a little bit open also. Yeah, he al already threatens to take on g4. Okay, let's push him back. Mm. Then after g5, I have the option. Uh, but the pawn here on, on f5 might become might become weak. So I'm not in a hurry, am I? No, so g6, possible. I'm maybe can take here on f7. I want to move over the, the other rook to e1 on f1 and then bishop c1 also threatening to take here maybe on h6 later on. I want that all my pieces participate in the game. So at the moment, this guy is doing nothing here on b2. So this is a poor piece. But you know, you know the a8 rook is doing nothing as well. The queen is a bit lo locked in here. Yeah, he, he's looking here on g3 also. Maybe rook g2 just to avoid everything of this. Hmm. Let's move the rook over here. Look, looking at the f5 square also. I think I play rook g2 next. This is idea to play knight d7. Could be. Can I play g5 now? This is not enough pressure now on. Uh, on. Okay, he can play knight h5, and then knight f4. But I play bishop c1. He has knight g3. Hmm. F6 taking here. I think I play this. I mean, he doesn't really threaten something. If he plays knight e7 and he takes here, I take back with a pawn, and then even the bishop might become very strong. He cannot move this knight. g5 and f6 might be good. What about queen f2 and queen h4? Hmm. All right, so. Queen f2, I'm still protecting c5 even. I think I play this move. F6. Huh.
Should I play knight g6? This knight doesn't have any square, so that's that's the idea behind my 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 move knight g6 takes takes. Queen here, I have bishop c1. I don't want to help him to free this. I think I play this. And then in the right moment I push for g5. Hmm. Maybe even knight to f5. What does he want to do with this knight? Yeah, okay, let's uh, keep this intact. If he takes, maybe taking back with this pawn. Although, no, I don't want to give him the square e5 for his knight, so it's not a good idea. G five G five he takes I take with the knight he takes I play knight queen f seven check and then maybe he has some mate on h four with the rook he closes everything okay g5 if he takes with a pawn I take I'm not threatening anything that's a point okay this bishop is doing nothing here so let's rewrote it and um, maybe knight h4 I want to play bishop to f4 where does the queen want to go to so i think he should have taken on b5 that at least his rook has some some place to move um okay so now i'm even he even allows me to go d4 without avoiding anything here okay hmm Let's make slow moves. So knight f5 next, and then queen h4, and then I just take here on h6. Now ev every piece of, of me is attacking. Okay. Should I play bishop f5? For sure I don't want to play the knight here. I mean then he just takes. No no no, I don't I don't want to give him that. Um maybe what about bishop f4 and queen g3 just forcing him to move back. Okay, bishop f4, he might play a5. Hmm. Do I have something else? Like, let's say I go here and I take with the queen and then h6 he takes g6 and then queen h7 check something like this huh f6 is also weak Does he have some counterplay? I mean, let's say I play, take, let's move this one first. And then I play bishop f5, I think. Mm. 
The idea is um, to take on c8, putting the knight on f5. He always has rook e4, however, maybe. Hmm. Maybe I get rid of this rook here also. So rook e1. Look, all his pieces are on the back rank. This is a funny picture here. <laughs> this, is, this is really funny. So, all right, so now I can maybe already take here. Okay, now I do that um, because his rook is also cut off. Queen d2 might be also an option. So now I'm attacking h6. I think I play queen h4 next. I do it anyway. So now I'm threatening to take here. He takes, take back with check, take, take. <laughs> However, it's maybe not enough. Hmm. Incredible, so I should maybe avo have avoided that one. G5? What about G5? He cannot take. Mm, G5. He takes with the F pawn, of course. Take. Okay, I take on F6. He takes back. I take on F6. Huh. I need to do something here. I'm not sure about that, but um, let's try. I maybe can take on b8 also to get rid of his queen here. If he takes on g5 now with the pawn, I take with my bishop. But this should be winning. I have a g7 move right um, here also, I think. G7. Or shouldn't I do that? Hmm. Now I'm threatening g7. Or maybe even better taking here and then g7. Yeah, all my pieces do something. And this guy on b8 is doing nothing. So uh, maybe I just take on f8 now. If he takes back with the king, it's a checkmate on h8. If he takes back with the rook, I play g7, threatening queen h8, and then promoting the pawn. I think he cannot do something about it. 
the f6 pawn is also weak I think uh, now everything wins Okay, let's take with the knight. Checking him. Rook f6. The rook on a7 is also hanging. So if he plays king e7, I have rook f7. Maybe there's a quick, isn't it a checkmate already? Rook f7, king e6. Okay, but here, knight f5 again. Hmm. There mu this must be winning, so let's let's see. Is king g8 now? And then g7. Wow, this looks ugly for black. I mean, look at the king. There's nothing around him to help. And there are so many white pieces just attacking this poor guy. I mean, we're threatening queen h8 mate now. So he needs to take with the queen the rook here, but um, it's over also. Um, did I miss something? Yes, he has rook e2 check. And then he has something like queen e8 check. Queen f6, queen h8, king f7, queen f8 check, needs to go queen e6, g8 queen, he needs to put something on f7, I just take, takes back, king, uh, rook e6 check, yes, winning, uh, everything is winning. Okay, this is checkmate. Cool, thanks for watching.